How are you getting 96% open rates? I'll tell you. The, the way that I do it is because I've worked out how to use custom fields so well that I can get the email to say, is your is insert um, colleague name appropriate or you is the title. So say you and I are in a, we're in a, we're in a business partnership together, right? So Johnny and Chris, and you've got someone who's trying to email us. I would get an email saying, is Johnny appropriate or you? And you would get an email saying, is Chris appropriate or you? So you both have this conversation in your head is like, oh, am I the right person or is it Johnny or is it someone else? And then you and I chat and say, hey, did you get the same email? Yeah, did you get the same email? Do you think that offer's right or not? They'd be like, well, I can see the value in it. That's sweet. Do you want to chat to him or do you want me to chat to him? And then that's what happens with every fucking company I go through. But why do they open it up? Because they see someone they know's name in the title. And this is why I teach cold email because it is like the fucking key to the kingdom if you use it correctly. Yeah, that's interesting. It's interesting that you have such an emphasis on an email still. Uh, so you, cause some people think that it's all died out and then you're now going to go through other mediums. But uh, I, I really hope they think that for the rest of existence because I will make money on email and, and they won't. <laughs> is email the number one asset, do you think, out of all those kind of platforms? 100%. 100%. 100%. There's, a, a, there's, there's an, old, um, an old saying uh, where a marketer was speaking to another marketer and he said, you know, I, I want to get a new car. And he goes, sweet. Send it, send it to the list. Like, you want a $100,000 car? Send out an offer that gets you a hundred grand to your list and you get the car next week. I like automating the process until the conversation gets to the point where they need to say yes or no. Then I'm happy to get on the phone. Just because that's obviously more efficient. Well, it stops the, half the conversation. Like, and don't get me wrong, my, my, my email marketing is pretty fucking like pretty intuitive as well. You know what I mean? Like, for example, like a lot of people get back to me and say, yeah, I'll get on the phone with you. Then they don't actually set a time with me. So I chuck them into another email sequence funnel. And the first, sorry, the first email in it is, is a cheeky one saying, hey, look, I know you're really busy. Um, I, I just want to send you a transcript of what our conversation probably would have looked like. So I send them a, you, hey man, sorry, been really busy, COVID, my dog ate something and can you call me back in a year? And I go through the post of like, I know, I'm a dick. But I, I take them through the conversation, what it would look like, and that pretty much kills all their objections in the first place. I get more replies from that because they're like, you're a suck, such a cheeky little fuck, but I get what you're trying to do now. And they just say yes or no. You know what I mean? And it's, I, I don't even have to do any more selling anymore. They're just like, sweet, makes sense. Let's do it. It's as simple as that. Um, but you kind of have to get to that point of understanding how to be conveying your message in such a way where you don't have to speak to someone anymore before they even get on the phone with you. They already know they want to partner up with you or not. So my first email sequence goes for five emails, which goes across about a week. My follow-up funnel goes for about five emails again. And sorry, Chris, um, is they, when you say you're, they run for a week, are these are timed automated emails going out. You don't have to actually one, do anything here. No, one per day. I don't do a thing. And they're, and they're all differently. Like they're worded as the appropriate follow-ups. Correct. And then Correct. if someone was to respond to one of those emails. They get, they, they get taken out of the sequence. And do they get put into a different sequence or do you ever inter if I do, it, it, it depends because it depends on the actual conversations being ha that's happening right there and then. Because the, the goal for that first sequence is to get them on the phone to agree to the partnership. Um, if they say yes, but they don't set a time and I've tried to, tried to follow up again. I then chuck them into another sequence, which is just, I call it the follow-up sequence because it's, it's just there to follow up. And it follows them up until they reply back. <laughs> it goes, that goes, that goes for as long as it goes for.